Hello, hello, hello. Today is March 29, 2021. Solutions to problem 106, the dark spots on the road. My wife and I walk that road every day, almost every day. The first time that we noticed those black spots, it hadn't rained for at least a week, no ice, no snow anymore, so couldn't possibly be have anything to do with water. So I was puzzled, but since we walk every day, <laughs> I noticed in the beginning that there was very little change in pattern, so there were clusters, very distinct clusters, about five, six feet across, and then areas nothing, and then another cluster. And I got the feeling that some of the clusters had changed. And then one day we started walking, which was, I think it was March 19, I believe. And I noticed, oh, we had major rainstorms, and the rainstorms wash these dark spots out. Without rain, they stay there. They are not water. I did a simple test, of course. I sprinkled some water on the asphalt during the day. It would evaporate in a matter of one hour, completely gone. You would see nothing. The black spots would still be there at certain locations. So on March 19, I noticed an enormously big spot, very dense, close to my home. And I didn't see any of them nearby. It had been after a major rainstorm and so whatever were there before, whatever spots were there before were all washed away. And I then realized if there are now so many spots <laughs> then if I wait patiently more should come. And I'll show that to you. The solution is that many trees produce sap, resin. For instance, when branches break. Some of you suggested berries. Uh, well, this is not the time for berries anyhow. Some of you suggested leaves. This is not the time for leaves. So when branches break, when there is damage to a tree, it produces sap, resin. In the case of pine trees, you perhaps know it's very sticky, it's very tar-like. People, it hardens after a while when people make necklace out of it, and if you wait a few million years, that can become amber. In the case of maple trees, most of the trees along the road are maple trees. They produce sap where branches are broken. That explains why they're clustered. Because you can walk sometimes for five or ten minutes, you see nothing, not a single dark spot. Then all of a sudden a huge cluster. And therefore it's also obvious if you see many that were there not the yesterday, then obviously there was probably another storm, wind, whatever the reason is, probably damage to the tree, probably broken branches. So, 
I looked up online how many trees do this. They call them uh, bleeding <laughs> trees. Many do it. Ma maple trees do it, and most of the trees that you saw along the line, along the road, are maple trees. So that's the solution. It came from the trees. If you're ready now, I will show you how on March 19, I did see some drops coming down. And you're going to see that too. Today is March 19, 2021. I'm here at the spot where there are dots that were not there yesterday. So therefore, I'm now waiting <laughs> to see more. Because if these fell down in a short amount of time, there should be more. And indeed, during my four minutes that I've been waiting here, four were added. Two bright ones because they are brighter. You may be able to see here. With some luck, maybe one will be added while I'm standing. Yeah, there was another one. Oh, it just fell. You may have seen it. It fell very close to me. It's right there. Let's give it a little bit more time. But it's also interesting that the countless spots that were here for four, five, six days, not changing, have all disappeared. Two days ago we had a major rainstorm and so apparently that rainstorm washed them all out. This is the only location that I can see within maybe 50 meters on either side of my home where there are dots. It's the only location. Yeah, there's another one. It just fell. Did you see it? Boy, it's very bright. It's right there. fall and you may have seen it too so there is just zero question they could they come from the trees they fall from the trees and that's the result of bleeding trees liquid is produced where the branches are. Yeah, there's another one. I just saw it come. Just right here. There it is. Just fell. I saw it. You must have seen it too. And so where the branches are cracked, the maple trees produce liquid and apparently that is enough for, <laughs> for them to fall down. You can still see the last one that dropped very bright because it's still liquid. You see the ones that are old that penetrated into the asphalt so there's no longer any liquid at the surface. 
very interesting that I've now been able to show you while I am recording that several fell down from the tree on the ground. We'll give it one more minute. Ah, there's one that just fell down outside the field of view. It's in between the, the yellow lines. You see how bright it is? But it was not in the field of view <laughs> when it fell. I saw it though. Right, I think uh, we've done enough waiting now. It would be nice if you could see one more fall. But that's not happening. Now one day later I'm back at the same location and notice how many more <laughs> spots there are. So the, the broken branch is still bleeding. Let me show you the trees that are everywhere around. That's the tree that caused the dumping. That's my house. Everywhere trees along the line. Yeah, did you see the drop? This one was just added. You must have seen it. See how dark it is? Yeah, another one fell just here. Wow. Quite amazing, and eh? no no rain for three days and and the damage is only very local. One big branch must have broken off. Because you see nothing there, you see nothing here, you see nothing here. So, it comes from there. Well, I'm sure there will be another one very shortly. I think there was one, but I didn't see it come down. I think there are two next to each other. And the one on my right came down without my noticing that it came down.
Yeah, I think there were two more, but I missed seeing them come down. Yeah, that one came down. Did you see it? Okay. <laughs> All right then. Over and out.